sister or die Feel it in my veins tonight Emotional suicide You know it's a night for I I didn't wanna walk Didn't wanna walk the plank no. But the Mariona The Mariona It came Like the thunder I was on my way to going under Swimming in the pain yeah, I was covered In a tidal wave In a tidal wave week five already can you guys believe it this is where i'm going to show you what i'm going to eat all week long my workouts and do our weigh-in this saturday to keep us on track on this cut I feel like mondays are the day where i just like go total beast mode and then the rest of the day i'm like or rest of the week i'm like gassed out i don't know but we went fire today i'm so impressed that i'm able to go up on poundage and go up on reps i did that today felt super strong and usually when you are eating more when i was in my maintenance phase my little mini bulk supposed to be doing more strength wise and i honestly looking back i just was not pushing myself i wasn't pushing myself getting out of my comfort zone i could have done so much more probably built so much more muscle but that's okay lesson learned you always learn in your journey there's always something that you can do better for your self in life in general it can be for your fitness it can be for your relationship moms dads your occupation you're never just going to get to a point and be like i'm good where i'm at in all aspects of your life there's always something that you can improve in in your life and better yourself and be a better version of you and that's what i'm trying to do and i have learned so much in the past year as far as fitness and health it is insane and I just hope that anything I learn that I can spread to you guys and educate as much as I can and let you know my mistakes, what I would do going forward and that way you guys don't have to go through all the nonsense like I do sometimes. I'm going into week five with a good headspace. Last week, if you watched week four, if you didn't watch week four, go and watch it y'all because it was a struggle bus week having all the feels, not wanting to do ish, and we keep it real out here. It's not always going to be a great workout like today. Tomorrow might be total poo. It's okay. As long as you're showing up, you're putting in the work, you're going to see changes 
over time. If the scale's not doing exactly what you want, don't worry about the scale because your whole body recomposition is happening if you are in a calorie deficit and if you're moving your body. Take the pictures, take the measurements, take videos at the gym, not just to look at yourself, guys. It's so important to take videos at the gym for your form and to see you progress over time. It's so important because that scale might stay the same, but if you compare you doing a lap pull down from four weeks ago to now, but the scale is the same and you see the muscle definition in your body versus four weeks ago, you know you are doing something and there is a bigger picture there that that scale cannot always determine and tell you. Yes, your girl is at Walmart. I live here. I might as well get a sleeping bag and start sleeping in the freaking parking lot. We are parked at the back because we're trying to get these damn steps in. The steps is what's been the most challenging, I feel like, on this cut, especially on the rest days. It has been affecting like family time, like me going out in the yard and walking around when I could be inside, you know, spending time with the family, but it is temporary. That's something else I want to bring up. If you are doing a cut, it is not going to be like forever long with you doing the extreme things or like restricting yourself and stuff like that. It is for a momentary time, push through, get it done. Memories over macros. I'm not saying to go off the rails all the time and to just like Netflix all the time, but you know what I'm saying. Like you can get through a set cut and a set goal and then you can have more family time and then do it again. So you don't have to feel like super restricted an entire year. And if you're doing that, that's when we see a lot of people like yo-yo up and down with these diets and they go back to even before what they started with their weight and they have to like go back and do it all over again. So if you are more realistic with your lifestyle, more realistic with your eating, your workouts and stuff, and you just stick with it over time, you're going to get more results doing that than doing these crazy like short little things, if that makes sense. Long-term, consistent, keep going, keep showing up, y'all. We've got some good, yummy food today I'm excited for. Hopefully, your girl is not next level hangry like I was last week. It was a struggle bus with being hungry all last week. I go in here, I legit ate all the fruit that I got from Sam's like three days ago. Like, what is my life? I ate all of it. It's gone. Me and Trey, we ate it all. So I'm going in here to replenish until I go to Sam's again. I mean, this is a problem. 1216, I am ready for lunch, y'all. Your girl is ready. And look at this beauty. We've just been making all kinds of wraps. This is a bacon chicken ranch wrap that I just threw together. So easy, y'all. Got the extreme wellness wrap. I've just been loving those because you can get them huge at Sam's. I've got two tablespoons of the classic ranch Bold House Farms. Yes, we're using Velveeta shreds because it's fire. Don't come for me. Got some rotisserie like deli chicken there. Three pieces of the Hormel microwave bacon. And this is 451 calories, 57 grams of protein. And yes, we're going in with a Coke Zero as well. And including in that 57 grams of protein is the Quest protein chips. And y'all recommended these to me and these are my new obsession. I need to go through my other stash and I will, but the spicy sweet chili is the only ones your girl will buy from now on. So bomb. And I promise I don't have a wrap for lunch on the meal plan next week. Yes, your girl is the crazy girl that plugs stuff into my car manager all through the end of February, except for my dinners, because I'm waiting for Elisa's new meal plan to drop tomorrow. The first, y'all, that's when she drops her new meal plan. So everything, breakfast, snacks, and lunches already plugged in. Y'all, if you want to be successful, just go ahead and plug that ish in, especially if it's stuff that you like, breakfast and lunch, and you can do it on repeat. It's your macros. Put it in there. Copy and paste. Don't make things complicated when you're trying to lose weight or build muscle. 247, snack time, 134 calories, 14 grams of protein. We're using the Daisy Low Fat 2% Cottage Cheese. When you get down to like the fat-free ones and all, they got some cruddy ingredients, and in my opinion, they don't taste the best. I like the Good Culture one too from Target is bomb. I've got some fresh blueberries and raspberries in there, some cinnamon sprinkled on top, no sweetener. And if you know, you know, we're doing the Redmond Real Light Immunity Blackberry all day, every day. 6.14 dinner time. We're doing all easy dinners this week you're going to see. So this is the hash brown casserole I've made since I started Anabolic back in May. It's a Pinterest recipe. I'll have it linked down below. It's super easy and delicious. I did add some of this buttery poultry There's blend that I got on accident from Sam's Club to the turkey sausage. Hopefully right. that gives a little bit of flavor. And then I've got almost 300 grams of strawberries because it's high volume, low calorie, 
531 calories and 49 grams of protein. That's why it's in the rotation, y'all, because it is a fire. And yes, this buttery poultry blend definitely took it up a notch. All the Kinder stuff I freaking love. And I get it at Sam's Club and the big ones and Walmart. They have like the best variety of all the different ones. 736, never skip dessert. We are doing some lightly salted rice cakes by Quaker, just the plain ones because they're the lowest calorie. And then I've got 30 grams, which is it doesn't seem like as much as some of like the drippy one. Like this morning I used the French toast on the eggs and the English muffins and it was good. I feel like you get more because this is weighted down more. I know that sounds stupid, but you know what I'm trying to say. 30 grams, doesn't seem like a lot. 231 calories, nine grams of protein, but this could be delicious. This is one from the Christmas line. This one's really good though, because it's loaded with like all the goodies. We clearly hit our 10,000 steps today. Wowzas, we did 166 protein, 58 fat, 1706 cows, and 119 net carbs for 144 total. I am super tired, getting in the shower, getting in the bed. We got a pull day for Tuesday. Let's keep this momentum going, week five. again this is so weird because the shark is due like clockwork next wednesday usually the week before i'm feeling like total like poo it was last week i was feeling like that like i don't want to jinx myself because we still got the rest of the week to go it's only tuesday girl but man i'm feeling freaking fire and this set this set right here from buff bunny guys when you're watching this video i should have talking to myself should because the girl is slacking posted the buff bunny like favorites new collection try on video this is the new set from the nancy's journey collection these are the impact leggings these leggings are fire like i need to go i wish i would have got the freaking black pair i wanted to and they were sold out so quick the black and they have a purple color these are amazing so they make your freaking glutes look fire and then they are super high waist which i'm usually not a fan of but it stays in place it wasn't slacking and riding down like the rosa pocket leggings that your girl returned because they were like falling off my ass like i was like i'm about to be like mooning everybody <laughs> in planet fitness i'm gonna be the planet fitness flasher up in here with these rosa pocket leggings i was like oh hells no we had to turn return those but these are fire and i love this matching sports bra it's so pretty it's got the tie back on there you can adjust it what i like is that you can tie it as tight or as not tight as you want and it's just so pretty and just makes you feel so badass 
And I had so many compliments on this set today from another trainer, not the one I told you guys about last week, but another one that I'm friends with in there. She's super nice. Her name is Penny. And she was talking about the red set and she was like this set. So we were talking about Buff Bunny. And then I had a gentleman come up to me and let me tell you guys, I was like freaking out at first. Insert footage so you guys don't think I'm lying about this. This guy came up to me while I was doing my hammer curls and he was talking about all my sets. He's like, man, your sets are just so fire and you just look so great and beast mode and you know, saying all the nice things. And he talked about, he's like, man, my favorite set was the purple leggings. And I was like, oh snap. The only purple leggings I have are the rebel purple leggings by Buff Bunny. And that was week one of the cut when we had the guy looking at the booty and I didn't even know until you guys pointed it out on Instagram. I went back to week one and I was like, let me see if it's the same guy and it's not. And I was like, oh gosh, okay, I can't wear the purple leggings apparently ever again in Planet Fitness because every guy is like looking at your girl's butt in those leggings. I don't even know why because I don't feel like they accentuate the glutes as much as like these do. But yeah, we just had a lot of compliments on the set today, but forget all that. I was feeling so beast because of feeling confident. And I've said that before. If you go in with something that makes you feel good, don't worry about what anybody else thinks because it's making you feel fire. And if you feel fire, you're going to go beast on your workouts. We went up on poundage. If I didn't go up on poundage, I went up on reps today, progressively overloading as much as I can and just keeping on moving on with this cut. I've got some thoughts in my head though, as far as like some things I might want to change once we get halfway through. We we're only at week five. This is a 12 week cut for me. I don't know what I was thinking with 12 weeks. It's okay. I can stick it through. Y'all know I can do it, but at like the halfway point, we might make some adjustments so we can see some more results. And I know I probably shouldn't be thinking like that, but I just got some things brewing in my mind. Also, can we talk about the pull-up game today? Holy shnikey. So I did no resistance today and I felt like a freaking badass. Like they're ugly. They're, don't get me wrong. They're not as pretty as I would want them to be. But man, y'all, we are in week five. Remember week one, I could not even pull myself up and now I'm able to almost get a clean pull up. The first one, it was like, you could tell I favor one arm more than the other and I'm stronger in my, probably my dominant arm, my right arm. And then the second time it looked cleaner. I just want to get up just a little bit more, but I'm not there yet. But damn, we are like progressing so much on those. I didn't do my happy dance, my victory dance, because to me, that wasn't my one pull up yet. That wasn't like the true clean pull up. So I'm, when I get that clean one and it doesn't look like so ugly, then I can do the happy dance. But man, I wanted to happy dance today because I was proud of that. Be proud of yourself guys with any small victory, non-scale victory, accomplishments that you make you need to celebrate them. They're worth celebrating. You're working freaking hard. You're putting in that work, the time, the dedication. There is nothing wrong with celebrating yourself, giving yourself a pat on the back, and know that is not being of yourself cocky, any of that stuff. That is being damn proud because you're putting in the work. And if somebody is commenting to you saying that you are being cocky and you're being like too self-absorbed, guess what? That's their own personal issues reflecting on them. That's their jealousy, their issues, because they're not doing what you are. You're freaking showing up, doing the damn thing and killing it. And it's killing them that they're not there yet. Think about that. 1219. No, I don't have my lunch ready. I am hungry. I am ready, but I've been too infatuated with Elise's a new meal plan. Y'all saw this morning. Oh my gosh. So I've been plugging in. I had everything else plugged in. I was waiting for it to plug in my dinners. So I wanted to show you guys. I mentioned that if you have my fitness pal, what's great about her stuff is she goes ahead and has it in my fitness pal for you guys. But if you use car manager, like I do, I also do my own custom recipes. That's why it takes me so long. And then I have it saved publicly. So if you look at like sweet pork enchiladas, and then I do a MFF, which is macro friendly foods like she does and carb manager, it should pop up because it's public. And then you can, you know, adjust it to the according ingredients to you. And then you don't have to do all the work like I'm doing to save you some time. All right, you're welcome. 
I'm next level hungry, but I'm just so excited for this meal plan this month. I think it's her best one that she's put out, but we got to try the recipes first, but you know what I mean. Now it's time for food and I am ready. We're just doing the same exact lunches all week long, y'all, to make things easy. I've been doing that with breakfast as well and just switching up like snack, desserts, and dinner makes a cut so much easier. So when I was doing like even maintenance and in my little mini bulk that I was in, I was switching up breakfasts and lunches like way, way too much and making it super complicated. Don't do that. If you have something that you enjoy, no matter what it is, and it fits within your macros and you're hitting your protein goal, do it. Do it on repeat as much as possible because it just makes life so easy. Got the same exact thing for the same exact macros I told you yesterday. And then we are doing a cherry Coke Zero because I've missed these. They've been out of my life for like a month. I know, struggles. Yes, please, to all of that. And your girl is next level obsessed. Buff Bunny is dropping their little mini valentine's day collection in 20 minutes and since we return the rosa pocket leggings guess what we're gonna get the bossy red print to match our top because we gotta have bottoms to match the top we got right that's the logic i'm going with 2:30, getting some editing done but you know the drill we gotta get these electrolytes in blackberry immunity is the poo you need it in your life and burgess with all the things y'all that's the code for everything mostly if it doesn't work ask me it's some other code but for the most part everything's in burgess we're trying something new today i bought these for walmart for the boys but i can have them too you get a little bit of cheese in there like four grapes and then some apple slices for 80 calories which is totally fine Two grams of protein, nine net carb, and as far as fat goes, we got three grams of fat. So it's a good little snack to have. I'm going to amp up the protein with one of my favorite flavors from Light and Fit, the caramel apple pie. They don't always have these, but they are so fire. 12 grams of protein. So 14 grams of protein and 160 calories, getting the electrolytes in all day, every day. Getting dinner ready and prepped, and we are doing some just basic tacos with some ground venison, all the toppings using the carb counter street tacos. These are just 20 calories a piece, and I'm seeing these now in my Walmart. So check, 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 because I could only find these at Winn-Dixie before. No weird, but it's going to be delicious on the side. We are making Mexican air fryer potatoes. So this is the seasonings I'm using. I already have it whipped up in my little bowl. So I'm using cumin, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and of course, Redmond's real salt. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of nonstick after I cube them up. My girl Jen has been obsessed with the cube potatoes and I'm a fan as well. You've got to try it and it's easier than using the french fry cutter. Maybe not. I don't know, but just the texture mm, spot on. I also also did cinnamon. I know it's going to be awesome. I did a half a teaspoon of each and put it in my bowl, hit it with nonstick, sprinkled our seasonings and just flip and toss them around and put them directly in the air fryer, 430 degrees for about 30 minutes and keep tossing them so they're nice and crispy and cooked through evenly through all the potatoes. Taco Tuesday in all its glory, 489 calories, 54 grams of protein, I think when I added it up. We're using ground venison, we have a ton in the freezer. Velveeta shreds, don't come for me. The same salsa from the wraps last week. I was gonna use light sour cream, but it went bad on me. Like, that never happens. Everything's been going bad on me lately. So I went ahead and did a teaspoon each of the classic ranch by Bold House Farms. Got some lettuce on there and these potatoes smell so good. I am so excited. It's beast mode plate. Yes, indeed. Clearly it wasn't good. So the potatoes fire. I think it would be even better, even more fire with sweet potatoes because it's got that cinnamon in it with the smoked paprika. I think the sweet potatoes would just elevate it another level. So that's how we're going to try it next time. But man, so easy. No like crazy recipe, no following anything, just doing meat, cheese, toppings, tacos, and a side. Super basic this week. Never skip dessert, eight o'clock on repeat, rice cakes and nut butter, but I'm doing the One Tough Cookie Cashew Butter by American Dream Nut Butter. This is from their Halloween collection. I rave all the time that the Halloween collection is my favorite. This one's almost dusted. This one's really good. I like this one a lot and it's still available. 236 calories and nine grams of protein. If you can get this one guys before they put these special ones, some of them in the vault and they don't come back out until next year. If that, sometimes they've locked them up longer than that. I've heard, I know crazy times. That's why people go nuts when they see their favorites come back. This one is a good one. I like this one better than the naughty or nice that I did last night. We got our steps in, but barely. I'm trying to prioritize sleep and get my booty in the bed. So that's what I'm doing after we take a shower. 171 grams of protein, 48 grams of fat, 
17, 17 calories, 125 net carbs for 165 total for our Taco Tuesday. Had an amazing day strength training, all the food. We're off tomorrow and we will be back Thursday for hopefully a killer push day. freezing down here is like 40 30s don't come for me we did a new push day circuit today so I have been doing that same push day like the pool day before I switched it up a while now and that's what I suggest to you guys do a circuit for at least six weeks and progress up on weight or reps during those six weeks and then you can change things up I've been doing it for more than six weeks it's been a while and I wanted to change some things up I kept some things the same like y'all saw the floor chest press I've stayed the same because I have progressed up on those we're at 40 pounds only doing two reps but we have progressed and we are doing the two reps times three so in that regard we are doing something I, I knew I had not been pushing myself on push day and I was like girl you've got to step I've stepped up and leveled up my game in all the other areas we have been freaking working hard as hell but I feel like push day is my easiest day lately and there's a reason why because I'm not pushing myself and getting out of my comfort zone so I said no girl last night I made a whole new circuit put it in my notes and today I recorded my poundage my reps and we're going to progress up throughout the rest of this cut on that push day and I can tell you 
my upper body is absolutely dead. I tried to do a pull-ups uh, unassisted today and it didn't happen. As you can see, I only got halfway up and I was like, uh, we're dusted. I didn't stop though. I didn't say, well, I'm defeated. I can't do it. I went and got my, my little band and we went and did two reps times three and we just got the work in still and still felt the burn. Did some push-ups today. I am just really trying to push myself hard on this cut and just get out of my comfort zone and do what I know I can do, but Bev has been telling me I can't. Also, the guy that approached me the other day, we were officially introduced today. He came up to me again today. His name is Clark, super nice guy. So don't assume, guys, that you know somebody is like looking at you or like says something and they're like being in a certain way. This guy was really, really nice. He told me his backstory. And what really touched me today was he was talking about when I go over there and do the weighted ropes. He does that because he recently had a stroke not long ago and he's trying to get mobility back in his left arm and he goes and does the ropes. And he said that I have motivated him to go harder on the ropes. He said, man, your, your will and your drive and your face and when you're doing your sets and your workout is just unbelievable. He said, you inspire me so much to be a better me and just to go harder in the gym. He's like, I knew I hadn't been going hard enough on those ropes. And he says, every time now I go over there and do them, I think of you and think about how beast you go on those ropes and that if you can do it, I can do it too. And he said he can see some strength built in his arm after going harder the past couple of weeks because of me popping in his head. I hope it's in a good way. You know what I mean? Man, that just, that just fired me up to like go beast. And that was towards the end of my session. I was like, oh man, we're just going to go fire, finish the session beast mode. And he was super, super nice. So man, just, you don't know who you are influencing on social media, in the gym, in your family, what your kids, you don't know who is actually watching, all right? People are watching and you're making a difference whether you know it or not. Just show up each and every day for yourself, number one, but just know that other people are going to be inspired by your story. They're gonna be inspired by your drive, your will, your discipline, and that's just something that cannot be bought. It's just, I, I just don't even have words for it. It was just so amazing to hear that. Y'all tell me that kind of stuff all the time and I appreciate it so much, but when you, meet you guys in person and when I talk to someone in person it's just a whole nother ball game and it just it made my day it made my day so we got a new friend we're making all kinds of friends up in the gym who is she we got Clark we got Roy we got Penny we've got all kinds of people that we are friends with and I am so here for it and it's just so great that everybody in the gym is like got each other's back like giving each other props telling each other they can keep going keep doing it you inspire me it's just a really good camaraderie in the gym and if you don't have that in your gym you need to find another gym I don't, so many of y'all tell me that planet fitness is like cray and all kinds of these crazy stories best be telling your planet fitness manager because i don't know what's going on but i love my gym y'all ask me all the time like I, well, I need to join a real gym look i'm getting results from planet fitness we are doing beast mode workouts that you can do in any gym don't let anybody tell you that you cannot get a burn at home that you cannot get a burn at whatever gym that you are in because you totally can especially if you are worrying about progressing each week on reps weights all the things so i think i mentioned the other day i wasn't going to get my ratchet nails done i was going to give him a break i lied i'm here at the, the freaking salon i was like girl these are ratchet and like you can't do as good of a job as cleaning up the cuticles and all that stuff as they can. And my cute, y'all let me know down below. My cuticle beds are insane. They tell me that every time. And I come like every two weeks, y'all know. They grow out and that's a sign of a healthy nail. So it's good, but it's just crazy how far the skin grows up on my nails in such a short period of time. Y'all let me know if you have issues with that, but your girl can't like handle all that. So we're going in here. We're getting some Valentine's Day colors. I'm here for it. Almost 1230 getting the things done we got our valentine's like pink bow whatever by opi i'm here for it and we've got lunch on repeat same macros everything i've been telling you like i said don't make your life complicated do the same thing all week do something different next week and then repeat the cycle because you already have it tracked and plugged in you can just copy and paste and it makes life so easy especially if you enjoy these foods if it's something that you really enjoy there's no need to switch it up all the time so we've got the quest this is my last bag of the spicy sweet chili sad times because that is so fire need to get back to Target or order some on amazon actually i need to go through the ones that you have girl before you order any more the goat dr pepper a zero sugar cream soda we haven't had one in a couple of days <laughs> feels like forever and we're going to refuel after that beast mode push day excuse me sir excuse me 
Are you the one making all the racket in the background? Are you the one making all that noise? What are you doing? My goodness, you are a loud mister. But you also oh killed the bomb. Almost three o'clock. It is snack time. We've been productive getting all the things done. I'm excited because I haven't had this in a hot second, but y'all have seen it if you've been watching the cut series. This is my jam. So this is a strawberry cheesecake protein powder by PE Science. It is so flipping good. Oh my gosh, it's one of my new favorites. Some sliced bananas, about 116 grams, and then four ounces of the Too Good Strawberry. And all I do is put the ingredients in there, one scoop of that, fill it up to the brim with water, and that's it. No almond milk, no ice, because you've got the frozen banana, so it's super creamy as is. 226 calories and 29 whopping grams of protein and it's just so freaking good it's like a treat so if you want to have this for dessert this is a good option as well because you're getting that protein in before bed it's going to fill you up and it tastes like a dessert it's so so good y'all look what just arrived yes indeed pretty sure it is still on the website like y'all are sleeping on this flavor i'm telling you go and check it out use Ember. just get a box before they sell out you need these in your life these are one of the 130 calorie ones and they taste so good. The texture on them are different than the regular cookies and cream. I don't know what it is with the white chocolate, but it's just, it's next level. I'm telling you guys, love, love, love this one. You can see I bought with my own money. Yes, I bought two boxes. That's how much I liked it. They sent me two samples to try. I flew through those and I was like, oh, we got to have a lot, even though y'all saw my built bar stash and it is a problem. I'm a little embarrassed by it, not gonna lie. But I don't care because we gotta fly through these bad boys. They are awesome and great for your cut, great for a deficit with the 130 calorie ones for sure. Y'all know what time it is. Relight time, blackberry immunity. Nicole, when are you gonna get to another flavor? Because we are tired of seeing this ish. I know, but it's just so damn good and I'm loving it. But pina colada and watermelon lime, I've been thinking about grabbing those because those are my favorites too. But I just need that immunity right now, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to stay well. I am not jinxing anything. We have been good and free for the whole time. Can you believe it? I, I shouldn't have said that out loud. 5.15, getting dinner prepped. I have a ton of catfish in the freezer. So I've got catfish in the air fryer. I like it that way because it gets crispy. And I put a ton of this buttery steakhouse by Kinder's on it. Y'all don't sleep on the Kinder seasonings. They are fire. And I did try that poultry one that I bought by mistake because Sam's Club had the wrong picture for the wrong product. And it was fire in the turkey sausage from Monday. So all there have all been good that I've tried. In here, I've got some russet potatoes I cubed up. Hit them with a little non stick and then of course I like this garlic and herb for my potatoes it's awesome I'm going to put these in the oven since the air fryer is being used for about 450 degrees until they get crispy I'll probably toss them halfway through and then we're also going to do some no salt added sweet peas and again I loaded it up with this buttery steakhouse almost six o'clock dinner is done we got the air fryer catfish peas that's like almost a whole can y'all that's 192 grams almost a whole freaking can here for it we've got the potatoes that cooked up great in the oven and then we've got some walden farms this is a chipotle ranch um, dressing. I meant to do the bacon one, but it's fine. I need to use these things up. That's in the fridge. Some G Hughes ketchup for 480 calories and 46 grams of protein. Delicious. 740, never skip dessert. We have dessert on repeat, but we're bringing out an OG. The How You Bruin is from the summer collection. All of them from that 90s collection are fire and you need them in your life. I have a backup of this one because as you can see, we went hard when we first got it, but I haven't had in a hot set if you love coffee flavor, you're going to absolutely go bonkers for this one. It is a must for me and my life and my collection. 225 calories and 8 grams of protein to end our Thursday night. We are showered and ready for bed. We did our 10,000 steps barely, but I'm calling it a win-win. We did 175 grams of protein, 52 fat, 1727 on the calories, 125 net carbs, 150 total to round out our push day Thursday and in the week strong. This has been a strong fire week, which I'm surprised because the shark is due next Wednesday. We're thrown off on all the fields. So let's end the week strong. Let's go fry it.
wonder at our place in the stars. This is the world you've made yourself. Now you have to live in it. The end is in our sights. The future is already here. No matter how hard we tried, we are doomed. Say you goodbye. Brace yourself. I can see the end inside. Three, two, one, hardwired. Oh, we just finished the week strong, but it was hard as all hell. Like, they're always hard. Like, even when we have our beast mode sessions, they are all hard. Do not get that wrong at all. Today, a lot of things felt heavy. However, I did go up in pounds on the donkey kicks. Who is she? And I liked it over there in the intimidation zone versus in the 360 area because, as you guys saw, I was able to hold on with both hands, which I can't do in the 360 area. I think that gave me some more stability to not arch my back, which I've been doing pretty good on form with that. But going up in poundage, I knew I needed to. And plus, 360 was super packed. I could not get over there. So I was happy to go over in the intimidation zone, play around with the Sith machine, with doing the, like, elevated goblin blitz squats I don't even know like I'm just going over there and playing I did super lightweight because I just wanted to focus on like form not arching my back all the good things before we start loading up the weights my lower body I'm feeling is like getting so much gains like I don't know I could be it could be all in my head but my hammies and my quads and the badonky donk I'm like dang we are making significant progress and I am here for it 100% and I really do credit y'all ask uh, so many times on DMs on Instagram with how I built up the lower body because if you look back at pictures just a year ago like lower body was non-existent looked like a pancake stick all the things I do credit it to doing two leg days and progressively overloading on weight and doing more reps it has definitely helped me and my body significantly over not even a year which is insane did some assisted pull-ups today y'all my upper body is done and dusted like I could hardly sleep last night because my chest is hurting so bad from the new push day it definitely was effective y'all like my shoulders are like so done and dusted so I was like thank you Jesus for leg day today however now my butt cheeks and my hips are like screaming at me so I might be in a full body cast tomorrow thank you Jesus we got two rest days already 11 o'clock I spent way too much time in the gym I was talking to our new friend Clark again he took up a lot of my time talking to your buddies in the gym takes up so much time but you just got to still get after it and get in that beast mode mindset I like to go in the gym and be like set in my own world and get ish done. I do enjoy talking to people in the gym. Don't get me wrong. Don't think like I'm acting like a you know what. I got I got ish to do. Like we got to get in and out. We got all the mom life, work life things to do. I have a million grocery stores I'm going to right now. Like my kids, I just did that stock up haul and my kids are eating like freaking crazy. I'm eating like crazy too. I can't just blame it on them. But y'all like I bought a hundred packs of yogurt and they're all gone. Like I don't know what's going on. It is a problem, and they're only five, I mean five, six and nine. What am I going to do when they're teenagers? I'm going to have to live at the Sam's Club. The hubby's birthday was Tuesday, so tomorrow we are going out to dinner. I'm having that one-off plan dinner, not dessert, just dinner, not lunch, not breakfast, just dinner, so I'm looking forward to that. And tonight we are going to be celebrating his birthday with the kids because it's going to be like a date night for him and I tomorrow for his birthday. So I'm going to pick him up a cake at the Rouse's. They have like awesome bakery stuff and I'm so sad. I don't like the cake that I'm getting. Thank you, Jesus, because Rouse's stuff is fire as far as their bakery stuff. And we're going to do pizza tonight. I'm going to show you what kind of pizza that we're going to be eating. If you didn't watch the grocery haul, I'm so excited to try it for the first time. It's probably going to be 
eat like this much and I'm probably gonna be starving, but you know what? We're gonna do it and hopefully it's not. Just happy to end the week strong. This was the week of feeling hella strong. I don't know what's going on because the week before the shark, I'm usually done and dusted, but that was last week. If you watched last week's vlog, so uh, I don't know, but I'm here for feeling strong, here for going up in pounds, reps, all the things. We had a kick-ass week, and I'm just ready for the weekend, ready for the rest of February. Y'all let me know what goals, what ambitions you have for February. I know a lot of people had a crappy January, and I'm, I'm feeling you because I had a lot of bumps in the road in January as well, but it's a new month. It's a new day. It's a new week. Don't let all the stuff in the past bring you down and hold you down and keep you down from what you want to accomplish in life, no matter what that may be. You've got to look forward. You can't keep looking back because what's past is past. What's done is done. We can't go back and change it. Sometimes we wish we could, but we can't. All you can do is have a positive mindset and keep trucking and freaking moving forward, y'all. Have that mindset. Show up each and every day. Stay consistent. Put in the work and you're gonna see results. I know some people don't wanna hear that, but that is the key. That is the key to long-term success is putting in the work, staying consistent, showing up each and every day for your life. You gotta do it, y'all. Gotta do it. Get in the right headspace. Was it like 11 when I talked to you guys? What the actual hell? I'm just now eating post-workout. It is a problem. I should have brought a damn shake. I need to start doing that on grocery days. I know. I, I, I got to live and learn. But I've got the same exact lunch. Is this chicken bacon wrap, which has been fire with the ranch on it. And then I'm out of the beloved sweet spicy one. So I'm doing the loaded taco going through the ones I have for the same macros, same protein as all week long on repeat. Y'all, I'm embarrassed to say how fast I freaking wolf that down. 340 and I had another smoothie plugged in, but we're going in with this because I'm craving cottage cheese. I've been here for this combo lately. So fresh and like as Gus here on YouTube, I watch a lot of guy anabolic guys and I'm just loving their content so much. And he's always like, when he talks about cottage cheese, he's like just gains, gains all the way. And I'm, I'm here for it. 214 calories, 24 grams of protein gains. And no, I did not forget my Relight Immunity all day, every day. Tonight is pizza night and we are doing this cauliflower crust white pizza, three cheese blend with spinach over a creamy garlic sauce by Tattoo Chef. Got this at Sam's Club with a two pack. And I did it on the minimum time and it looks and smells amazing. So according to the macros, I'm gonna get two slices of this. I am gonna weigh it up and hopefully it's not like this, you know what I mean? And I've got some chicken breast I'm gonna put on top to amp up the protein. And we're gonna put some popcorn on the side and call this an easy breezy night. This is done. I added a serving of this traditional pulled chicken from Walmart. That's gonna be awesome. I heated it up, added a little drizzle of the no sugar raise. And then just to be easy, we're doing some of the lesser evil popcorn on the side for 491 calories and 38 grams of protein for our pizza night. I'll update you. Thoughts on the pizza? I liked it. Definitely has that garlic flavor, the crust and the bottom, super crunchy. So when you add your chicken and whatever, other protein toppings it is awesome for an easy like dinner night i'm here for it but they're out of stock at sam's club i checked already to like potentially get more what is my life 7:35. never skip dessert we got dessert on repeat and i'm doing the how you brew it again because i forgot how much i love this one definitely in my top five flavors y'all ask me all the time which ones my favorites are this one's got to be in the top five dunk a spoon blueberry muffin is a limited in the vault flavor and i'm out of it i love that one so much butter my cookie my favorite peanut butter's got to be the thicker than a snicker. Like those are my tops, my go-tos, even though I have a million other ones. Those are the ones that I recommend. We hit those 10,000 steps. Your girl needs to get her booty in the bed. 161 grams of protein, 60 fat, 1730 calories, 123 net carbs, 150 total to round out week five on to week six. We are halfway there, y'all. Halfway there. Happy Saturday. So this morning, your girl woke up. I wanted to do a check-in, physique check-in so bad for y'all, but I was like, wait till next week for the halfway point. And if the shark isn't making me feel like a beach whale, we'll do a physique check next week for y'all. But I woke up feeling so lean, so shredded, like 
you know what I mean by shredded. Not really shredded. But for me, in my eyes, I was like, dang. I was feeling fire. Feeling fire when I woke up this morning. Feeling good about this week. Got on the scale and we popped in at 147.2. We are not budging off that 147. Your girl is holding on to every single ounce of that 147. I am not mad about it though. So my whole goal on this cut is to get strong. And I've proved that, especially this week. We did not one, but two unassisted pull-ups. Now granted, they weren't the cleanest and the prettiest, but we did it. And coming from week one to week five and accomplish that and have been able to go up on poundage, go up on reps on the exercises for our circuits with being lower calories than I was consuming before. I feel like we're doing even more in the workout sessions. I am proud of that. And you should be proud of whatever you are accomplishing on your journey, no matter what that scale number pops in at. I am going to adjust some things after next week. When we do our weigh-in next week, if it's still at 147, I am going to adjust some things in the next six weeks coming because after this cut, y'all, this is the last I'm cutting of 2022. Too. Then we're going to reverse diet, go into maintenance, and we may even do like a mini bulk like around Christmas time, like not intentionally. And that's my plan. So I want to get the most out of this cut as possible, build the most muscle, lose the most fat that I can before we start reverse dieting. So we may adjust some things, but I thought about after getting on the scale and what so many people don't do is trust in the process. And y'all know I preach to you guys that all the time to be patient. There is no magic pill this isn't a quick fix to trust in the process show up do the work each and every day stay consistent and it will happen over time this is a journey this isn't a race this is a journey and it's gonna take a while so I keep telling myself the same thing Nicole this is a journey this is going to take time you are doing good for your body I am seeing results and strength and physique tremendously in just five weeks with what we've been doing so obviously we are doing something right I'm feeling good and I'm loving this entire process going forward so I don't want to jeopardize that by going extreme which I won't if I change anything anyway but we're not going to stay complacent either 2022 for me anyway is about pushing myself leveling up and getting out of my comfort zone and really going above above where I've been <laughs> we're above where I've been like I've been complacent in a little complacent bubble oh you know, we're doing good we're getting gains but we can do more and you can do more you can do more than Bev which is our inner voice if you're new gives us credit for you can push yourself a little harder each day be a better version of you each and every day going forward in life. And that's my goal for this cut. That's my goal for 2022. So after next week, we will assess some things and then we will change things up for the next half of this anabolic cut. Feeling great though, all dressed up. We're going on our date night for the hubby's birthday I was telling you about. We are going to eat dinner and I've been on plan for breakfast and for lunch, no snacks. So I'm just going to have dinner and I may have a dessert here. We're not gonna do dessert off plan, but I'm excited about being able to spend time with the hubs. I will tell you guys, y'all know my whole thing after this past summer was memories over macros. And there have been times, which y'all know I don't like to do this anymore, where I've had to tell the kids no. I've had to tell the hubby no. I can't partake in that because of this cut. And these opportunities give me that time but I'll be glad, I'm gonna be honest, I'll be glad when the cut is over just so I don't have to say no. I'm a firm believer of you enjoying those moments, memories over macros, and if you are staying consistent throughout the majority of the week, those little moments here and there are not going to derail your progress. One meal is not gonna make you fat, like one meal is not gonna make you skinny. I'm a big, big, big promoter of enjoying the little things, enjoying the moments, and it's been really killing me to tell them no, but but we are staying consistent. We've got goals in 12 weeks temporary we can get through. I hope you guys are doing awesome in your cut and your calorie deficit and your journey of health. I hope that these videos are helpful and motivational each and every week. Thank you guys so much for clicking on them and watching them through. It just means the world to me that you guys are interested in what your girl does on a daily basis. It still blows my mind and will forever blow my mind no matter what that number down below says. But if you made it all the way to the end of this video, 
video, we did hit 135K, which was a number in my mind I was striving for. Don't ask me why, but I've been waiting for it and it finally happened this week. So thank you guys so much. And in appreciation, I am going to be picking two winners of a giveaway. So one winner is going to win some protein powder from PE Science, flavor of your choice. And the other is going to win a mixed box of Built Bar. So I'm going to pick two winners and all you have to do is leave your comment like you always do, but leave a strong arm emoji. And if you are on Instagram, leave your handle. It just makes things easier. If not, I will be posting on the community tab, the winner in a week. So make sure that you have all the bells clicked, notification bells clicked. So you see those community tab posts too, because I've been posting over there very frequent lately just to like pop in and talk to you guys. And a lot of y'all aren't getting the notifications. So make sure the bells are clicked and I will let you guys know who the winner is. Come in contact and we'll get all that goodies shipped to you guys. But I'm going to be doing some giveaways more and more because I like to give back to y'all. Y'all give so much to me. Y'all are a motivation and drive for me to get up each and every day to level up in life. So thank y'all so much for being that fire for me each and every day to get the ish done. Let's go week six. Let's go shark week. All the feels I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to be interesting, but we are halfway. We're going into halfway on the anabolic cut. I'm excited to take you guys along. Keep killing it out there. I see you. I'm cheering for you each and every day, and we'll see y'all in week six anabolic cut. Let's go.